I can't believe that I lost everything. Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It is great to have you back again on another exciting edition of Twinkle Tips Friday. And uh, this Twinkle Tips Friday, I want to cover probably one of the most terrifying things that could ever happen to your x -Lights layout. And that is opening up x -Lights to find that x -Lights can't load your layout. It's corrupted. Something's happened to it. You don't know what. So what I want to suggest to all of you right now is to go make a backup of your X lights layout now I'm gonna go through a couple of the basics here so that you know exactly where to start and there's probably some built-in things uh, in X lights here that are already got you started so just know that uh, natively X lights does back up your folders and files and so forth but it doesn't back up absolutely everything and you don't need everything you only need certain things but the idea is is that you have a path to recreate your layout should something catastrophic happen and you are able to um, uh, you are able to continue working where you left off at or the most recent place that you left off so it's always important obviously to have a backup of your folders and layouts before I go any further, I want to mention a couple things. Uh, this is this is a rather old hard drive I've had for years. I mean, it's I mean I probably got this back in um, 2005, 2006, 2008, sometime around then. I mean, it's an old one terabyte mechanical hard drive. It it connects via USB that right there, and uh, this thing is wonderful for storing what you uh, are going to always want to hold on to. In fact, I have a significant number of movies. I have an entire music collection on here. I probably haven't listened to the music on here for a while. You don't need to go and spend big bucks on that. I mean, maybe you have something like this. Uh, these are your USB drives, your thumb drives. I've got plenty of these. Many of us have these over the years. We've collected these. Uh, or, or you, you have uh, uh, an SD card reader and you have uh, the option. You can always keep a backup on one of these. And the, the, the truth is, is the, the, there's only a few files that you really need to have. So let me go start with this. Let's go into up here to the top right of the screen, File and Preferences. And hopefully when you open up the Preferences screen, let me get out of the way here. Uh, when you open up that preference screen up there and you see the backup tab is the first tab that's physically on the screen, you'll notice that there are a couple checkboxes. You can back up on a save whenever you hit the save button. You can back up on launch. You can back up subfolders. Uh, you can, these are all options in the backup tab and you can go through these and test them all out on your own. But I just want to, um, I just want you to have the basic necessity of where you want your backups to go to. So the first thing I always have checked is backup on launch. That is important to me. I, I every time my show open or every time I go into work in a layout, X Lights will create a backup. The second thing that you'll want to do is you'll you'll probably want to have this checkbox checked uh, here, and it says uh, use you show folder. So whenever X Slice is in a show folder, it's going to automatically go to your show folder and create a backup folder location for you. So let's go in and look at the backup. And, and again, you, you can create the backup this way, but there, but there, are, there are other options. If you click here on the file menu and you can create a manual backup you can do this on your own anytime you want you can click f10 and these are the, the this here is the information that you, is rather important it says all xml and xsq files under 30 megabytes in your xlights directory will be backed up 
and it will tell you where it's going to back it up. So here it shows that I'm on my desktop. I'm putting it in my show folder into the backup directory. I'll go ahead and proceed. And there's our first backup. That's all you need to do whenever you're in your X Lights layout. It tells you the path or the location of where you're going to save that information. The next thing I want to do is show you where your backups are located. If, if you go with the default, they'll, they'll put them right in your show folder. Let's show you that. I'm just going to minimize here. Now, I'm on my desktop. This is my desktop, and I have a folder. It's called My Show Folder. And then here in My Show Folder, you see a list of songs, a list of MP3s. You see some files and some folders. And so the first thing you'll notice at the very top of it, it says Backup. And this, my friends, is where my backups for my show and my sequences are all stored. Now there are a couple files that you uh, are you that that we just said are saved inside this folder, and that is your uh, XML files for your show, that is your XSQ files for your show, um, and that is also your XBKP files, which. In this instance, I don't have any XBKP files because I just have the sequences in there. But if we go into the backup folder and we scroll down to the bottom of the list, you'll see this one right here. This is the file that we just created, the backup file. And if we go in here and open this up, there is every single one of the sequences as well as the X Lights layout, network, and your key bindings files. Now, I'm going to show you an older one, one from last year. So, and you can tell they, they label them, they auto label them with today's date. It goes by the year and then it has the month and the date. But you can open these up and let me sort these by type. And you can see at the very top here you have, um, there's all my uh, uh, X, XSQ files. And then you have all of your backup sequence files. So in the case that you have a corrupted sequence, you can't open your sequence, you can go into your backup and you can come in here and you can rename this file. You can right click, rename it, and change it to background. We'll call this background two, just so you see this. And instead of dot xbkp, we can erase that and call that dot xsq. And now I remember I changed the name of it. So it says, look, you've uh, if you change a file name, the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, because here's what just happened. I had a uh, 2022 Tune 2 background. I just created a backup second copy. If I had lost my Tune 2 background, I could always recover it from one of my previously working backup sequence files. So th this is why it's really helpful to have the backup functions in X Lights. Okay, so what happens when X Lights opens up and it says, we can't find your layout or your layout could not be co uh, uh, completed, uh, no data was found to create your layout, something like that. An error does pop up every once in a while. If for some reason you open up your X Lights and you can't find your layout uh, and and you, you didn't change anything and there's an error, you can restore your backup from your backup into your regular main directory and that's the first thing I'm going to show you here. Now we're in, these are this is our list of backups and I'm just going to go in here. These are the three files that we need. The X Lights key bindings, which you might not need the key bindings, but the two important ones are your network file and your RGBFX file. Those two X Lights underscore files uh, are your XMLs that control your light show. Now um, if I go in here, and uh, the first thing to do, though, is make sure that all instances of X-Lights are completely closed. 100% make sure they're completely closed. The reason for this is that if you have X-Lights open and you make the file transfer from the backup file into your main directory, X-Lights won't see it. So you have to close X-Lights. So we'll do that real quick. And now that we're in our backup folder, we're taking our RGB effects and our RGB network file. I'm going to copy these, right click, copy. And then I'm going to go back to my show folder because here's my desktop, my show folder. And I can come in here and I can delete the existing two files. I can delete them. They're gone. Now, if I open up X Lights right now, I'm going to get a, a blank screen. There's going to be no network. There's going to be no layout. There's going to be nothing saved, anything, nothing. So, uh, we can from this point here right click and we can paste and now we have restored the file structure from our last most recent backup 
and in this backup here is all the information that we need to open up X Lights, which we'll do now. Poof, that's opening up. There we go. Opening up all of our controllers are there, and there's our layout, and everything is copacetic. We, we should be able to continue on doing what we're doing within X Lights. Okay, the next thing I want to uh, show you physically how to do is to save this uh, on your backup drive, on your thumb drive. Maybe you have an old school um, uh, hard drive. Maybe you have a newer, like Western Digital uh, uh, SSD drive that connects via USB to your computer. And you're able to uh, use that as a storage solution off the computer so that you always have a quality backup that you can re reinstall or pull from from in the event that something happens to your computer. This is the best way, this is one of the best ways that you can always guarantee you're gonna have a copy. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug this in. There you hear the little jingle there. And uh, we'll come down to the Windows menu. We'll right click and do a File Explorer. And I'm gonna click on this PC. Once we get here, I see it says USB Drive E. I'll go ahead and get into here. Now this happened to be an old uh, layout uh, place where I, I put old layout stuff in here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go back into uh, our show folder. Here's the show folder. And we'll go into our backup folder. And we'll scroll down, let's see here. We'll scroll down and we'll grab the most recent version of our backup. And I'm just going to click and drag it and move it over to there. So uh, it sometimes it says this, it, it brings this point up here. It says, are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties? I always do this, yes, for all current items. I go ahead and let that go. Now, the one thing that if I remind you, uh, when we back up a file in X Lights, when we back up our show folders, if we go into there, there is no MP3s in here whatsoever. There's no MP3s. So it's important that if you are making a backup and you're putting it on your thumb drive, you might want to grab all of your music files that are associated with that as well. I highly recommend doing this. Um, and again, it's asking for the files with properties. I'll click yes. And it, it'll put them all on my thumb drive. They'll be here. Uh, so I have a backup. And finally, guys, the last thing that I want to share with you that is probably the very most reliable thing that I've experienced over the past 15 years of doing light shows, the most reliable way to not lose a copy of your work is to utilize online cloud storage solutions. Not in any particular order here or uh, layer of uh, favoritism or anything, but uh, these are all the services, uh, not all the services, I don't have an exhaustive list of, of, of services. I, I recommend a quality uh, company that is going to be around longevity wise and iCloud here is a, a perfect example of uh, a company that's been around for a while. You have Google Drive. Google Drive has been around for a long time. You have OneDrive which is Microsoft's version of uh, cloud storage. Google Drive is obviously Google. iCloud is deals with uh, Mac and uh, I and the one that I use the most is uh, Dropbox and all of these services uh, I I, I'm not telling that you telling you that you should or have to pay for these. Uh, if you can get them for free, by all means, get them for free. I used Dropbox for probably 10 years before I started paying for the service because we use it uh, to house all of our uh, files. And the nice thing about the cloud storage is you can you can transfer your files from you know here's my laptop I can work off of my laptop and I can work off of my desktop computer and they share the same file structure and they also share the same backup locations so if I'm sequencing here on my desktop right here and then I decide now I want to go uh, I, I need to go work on my uh, my laptop on a trip and Rob's driving and I'm sitting in the car uh, I could I could be a passenger and I could be sitting here sequencing and doing all kinds of stuff on my laptop and the next thing you know whenever I finally get to a Wi-Fi spot uh, maybe maybe I turn on my uh, hotspot on my phone and uh, I can connect up to this and this would link the uh, Dropbox account on my laptop and it would synchronize it back here home uh, to my computer and it would update all of the information and also it updates Rob's files as well because he can open it up and see it on his computer. The bottom line is folks don't panic there is a way around and about everything but I caution you 
I highly caution you. Make a backup of your layout. Make a backup of your show and save it. You don't know when your computer is going to crash. Uh, you're not going to be able to work on something uh, that you want to work on. And maybe you want to switch over to your laptop and, and, and take it on the road with you. Or some uh, things happen. Computers crash. Hard drives break. Uh, I mean, don't get caught uh, without having your backup and, a, and an ability to restore all of the hard work that you've put into setting up and building your show. Guys, that's everything from me this week. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell for notifications so you never miss one of the videos that we're putting out on the PPD YouTube channel. And by the way, we're up to well over, well over 4,000 people. Thank you all for subscribing. 4,000 subscribers is great for us. We really appreciate it. It really means a lot. And if you would, guys, comment in the comment section below. What kind of videos do you want to see more of? What kind of specifics do you like to see? Uh, is there content that you want to get more in depth with? Is there Are there things that uh, you just can't quite get the grasp of and you really just need somebody to explain it for you in the best terms that, that can be laid out for you? Put those in the comment section below. We'd love to read the comments. I try to respond to all of them. And it is always great to see your feedback and let us know how we're doing here. If, uh, if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get an awesome sequence each and every month to the PPD Sequence Club. Uh, there is three to choose from and two songs are new each month. Uh, well, this passed, well, passed for a while. And um, if you join the club now, you get to choose from the three best songs that we have in the store right now. They, they are fantastic. Go check out our Triple Play page. Link is in the description. And... If you like cool shirts just like this, go to pixelprodisplays.com, look for our gear, and you'll find two different shirts. This is so soft, it's amazing. Thank you again for joining us, folks. It really means a lot to us. We really appreciate you joining us, and we hope you have a wonderful, enjoyable Memorial Day weekend. We salute those who served before us, and we are very proud to be from the United States and be proud to be Americans, and we are thankful for the liberties that we have. Guys, take care. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the time with friends and family. And we will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now. <laughs> or maybe I turn uh, on my phone. I turn on the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, what the hell is that called? <laughs> God. Oh, man. Try, try that again. Thank you again for joining us. This is Clyde signing out. Have a wonderful weekend. We hope you and your family enjoy the beautiful, the wonderful Labor Day. No, no, it's not Labor Day. <laughs>